With Remembrance Sunday this weekend, we are delighted to tell you about our own small contribution in ensuring we don't forget those who lost their lives in battle. Yes, this summer in Normandy in France, our reporter Paul Crone did some incredibly moving interviews with the region's D-Day veterans to mark the 75th anniversary. Yeah, they will now be kept safe for future generations. What were you doing on D-Day? What are your memories? Uh, well, I was very lucky, actually, because um, I did... Uh, Back in uh, June, we broadcast live from the beaches of Normandy. Uh, so and as part of our coverage of the 75th anniversary of D-Day, we interviewed in depth five men from the North West who fought on June the 6th, 1944. Hector Doff, Dennis Rose, Jack Canane, Bob Studley and 95-year-old former commando George Sims, who landed on Sword Beach. George proved quite a hit with his moving account of that momentous day in World War II. I laid on the beach once and I thought that, well, I'll never see daylight tonight, because this will be the end of it. There's that much shrapnel flying about. Today, George, a resident at Broughton House Care Home for ex-service men and women, was on another special mission to the vaults of the Northwest Film Archive at Manchester Metropolitan University. Right, if you want to follow me this way, George. And this is the Northwest Film Archive uh, vault suite, and this is where your interview will be stored for nice posterity. Job. Well, thank you very much indeed, sir. So I'll stick it up there for you. And that's job done. In a unique collaboration between ITV Granada and the Northwest Film Archive, we've made available the unedited footage of all the interviews with our D Day veterans. These will be kept safe and sound for everyone to view forever. We've all seen the, the classic black and white footage of the guys heading out of the landing craft onto the beach, but to actually hear the voices and the testimonies of those guys who actually went through that momentous occasion, yes, it's very important that that sort of footage does, uh, does survive.